everybody. It's Kelly. Um, today what we're going to do is um, I had a couple people ask me on um, in my Facebook group Coffee Cup Crafts and Conversation um, said that they'd never made a junk journal didn't really know much about what they were so this is just a small tutorial and I really hope it's small but the possibilities are endless when you start a junk journal or an art journal. That's another name for them. Um, and I mean the design possibilities, the size, the schematics, the, the everything. It, the possibilities are endless. And, but sometimes like I remember when I first started, Oh my gosh, I would send an email or I sent an email to uh, our pink poodle mama, Stacy Evans. This was a couple years ago. I'm like, I've never done a junk journal in my life. I've never done one, but I want to do a memorial journal for my grandma. Well, whew, that was a big order. And she was pretty much, you know, just <laughs> grab your cojones and jump right in. That's pretty much what she said in Honestly, that's the best advice anybody could really give you. Um, it seems very daunting. It seems very intimidating to uh, to start a journal. But let me tell you, there is so much talent out there. And my talent may not work for you. Your talent may not work for me. But everybody's talent is beautiful because everybody's opinion and ideals and uh, everything, it, they look at art differently. That's the one thing I think we can honestly say in this world that is un as unique as a fingerprint to every single person is their outlook or their viewpoint on what art is or what art, what makes art beautiful. Okay. That will be different to every single person on the planet, period. Um, so this, like, and you'll be able to see, I don't have my very, very first one. That's my grandmother's journal. Uh, I did that in another video. If I can remember, I'll remember to link it down below when I did hers. I believe I might have just done a flip through, so... I don't remember because that was when I was very, very, very first starting videos. But these are just some of the the ideas that you can you can do. Okay, now this one was given to me. Okay, as um, in a happy mail, and this is absolutely beautiful, right? When you open it up. I see it, it, and I decorated a lot of, I put a lot of my own decorations in here. That's one of my clusters that I make. What was given to me was a 2018-2019 planner, right? And that was in here. See, I added some more clusters. And there's places to write in it. really pretty paper. Another cluster that I used as, let me get something to give you an example. Let me see. I will use, okay, I will use this as an example piece, okay, as a tuck spot. You see that? Okay, this, I believe, is a little envelope, like a pocket. It is. It's a little pocket. Some more writing paper. This one folds out. Doily. And this one has actually a total of three signatures. Okay. I don't know. You may know what a signature is. I didn't when I first started, but you see there's 
let's see, there's one, two, three. You see those three separate um, sets right there in the center? Each one of these sets is called a signature. And what it is, is it's a grouping of papers, you know, that you put in a book. You don't want to make, like if you wanted a book even this thick, you don't want to make it out of one signature because it would be, it would stress the paper out too much. Okay, so if you wanted a book, you know, this thick, which is about, it's about an inch binding, okay, uh, then you would put two or three or even four signatures in. And then that also gives you opportunity to, um, you know, to decorate, to add more things, things like that. See, that's another one of my signature or my clusters. All right. There's another one of my clusters. That one. Which the back is glued on, but this side, where did it go? There it is. Can still be used as a tuck spot. So now the point is, is everybody's idea of what a journal is, is completely different. Now this one was given to me, right? Now this one was one of the first ones I made and it's huge. Okay, let me tell you. I did not think when I first started out that a junk journal had to be anything but eight and a half by 11 or 12 by 12. That's how big it is. This one is 12 inches by 10 inches. That's a big journal. And then right here, <laughs> look at that spine. That spine is a three and a half inch spine. Okay, this is huge. I will deconstruct this eventually. All right, I just haven't done it yet. But I was making um, a journal for my, my Bible class on Wednesday nights. You know, so they were verses that I was just doodling and drawing. And let me see. Yeah, there's that one. This one was one of my favorite drawings because I just freehanded all of this. And I'm not very good at art, not drawing. All right. But what this is, is instead of making each, you know, section um, of this as the signatures. Oh, good grief. I made signatures, uh, little small ones, okay, like this. And there's five of them in here. And the reason I did this was so that when I was done with the art, let me pull this off. Okay, yeah, this thing is huge. Okay, when I was done with the art, uh, let's see, hi, I'm having a place to put this stuff. Okay, like for example, this one and this one. Okay, I'll do that one in a minute. Uh. All right. When I was done, I would put this one on this side. See, that's supposed to be the apple of his eye and under the shadow of his wing. All right. And I would glue this right here to that side. And then the next one, I would glue to the back. like that. Okay. So that way, that's how it would open. These aren't in there because obviously I don't have any color on them, but this is one of those projects I'll do when I have my surgery or if I'm stuck in the hospital or something like that and I can just doodle in color. All right. But this is all my favorite Bible verses in the Bible, you know, but this was one of my very first attempts. Huge. 
kind of um, awkward. Let's see. Oh, here's the font. You know, kind of um, unwieldy. That's the word. All right. Set that one aside. Then we started mixed media mashup with Stacy, and it's where you um, you just sew a piece of paper any size. And then you follow art prompts on cards. Now, everybody follows the same prompts, but they have their own interpretation of what each prompt means. And so what I was doing is little 8 by 8 squares of paper. And then I did the same thing, you know, where, uh, you know, like right here, I just was gluing them to both sides. There's my Mardi Gras one. You know, and even that. Now, this one's a lot more manageable. Let's see. This one's eight by uh, about seven and a quarter with a two and a half inch spine. And you can see I sewed in the signatures. And then just braided the leftovers. But again, this was my first attempt, so I wasn't really trying. Anyways, this was another attempt. Okay. And that was just using recycled stuff. Now, this was a sketchbook I got, I believe, at Walmart. All right. And I'm using this as another mixed media mashup thing. So I would do a page, and then when I'm done, I would, I would, you know, do it actually just in here. And I would paint a page like this one. This one isn't finished, right? This one just has leftover paint, so to speak. This one, I put texture paste on, blah, 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 and I just decorated it. And then, you know, in a... In a couple weeks or a couple months or even next year I might say "Ooh, you know what else would look good on this and dot 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 and do whatever and I did the same over here so I really like this one if you can see that So this is another option you can use as an art journal or as a junk journal, you know, and this was just a sketchbook, okay? The paper's a little bit sturdier, not by much, okay, because I think that this is just like a, a sketching book as far as for pencil or dry media, but I decided to just sew the pages and just say screw it anyway, all right? Screw it and do it. So that's another option. And then these down here are just little notebooks we got at the Dollar Tree. All right, plain craft paper, plain white paper. Okay, and they were like a buck a piece, I believe, or they were three. No, it was, it was they were a buck a piece. And then my granddaughter and I, Madison, we do these. Like one of these is hers, and one of these is mine. And we started these last year. Say. And the front of it says, you are amazing or best day ever. So these are the two that we started. So you can do it that way. You know, you don't even have to sit down and, and worry about making a cover, making a signature, trying to decorate the cover. You know, if you're really um, intimidated by starting out, um, then just grab something like this at the dollar store. All right, and it doesn't even have to be this big. This one is about eight and a quarter by oof, a little bit more than five and a half. Okay, don't even have to be this big, to be honest. All right, so that's another option you can use junk journals, art journals. Okay. Another thing, if you're just starting out, all you have is computer paper, okay? You can use that. You don't have to have a hardcover. All you got to do is just fold it over. 
you can staple it, you can sew it, you can even glue or tape just the center piece, pieces. And, um, you know, something as simple as that. And you've got the start of a good, you know, you're on your way. And then later on, if you wanted, you can even use this as a signature in another journal. You can cut it in half and make a small one. You don't have to even make it this big. Right. That's what is so cool about journaling. This is construction paper I've had forever since my kids were in grade school. Okay, my youngest just married. He's like been married for two years and just moved to Texas. He's like 27 years old, I think, this year. Yeah, he'll be 27 this year. So you can tell how old this this is, and you can even see the edges are a little bit brown. Okay, I'm not focusing. Why am I not focusing? There we go. Okay. You know, you can use if, um, construction paper. You can mix construction paper, if you want, with um, computer paper. The possibilities are limitless. I've seen people make junk journals out of toilet paper rolls. You know, when you get to the end of the toilet paper roll and you've got that little cardboard tube, I've seen people make journals out of those. I haven't figured it out yet, but I've seen them happen. And then you've got some paper that you can you can buy at the store. This is just like vellum, okay? This is very thin vellum. I've had this for a long time as well. And you can use paper that that you buy. Um, this is a paper collection that was given to me as a gift. All right. So that those are options as well. Set those aside. Another thing you can use is check it out. Macaroni and cheese box. Now that's an awfully big signature as far not a signature, um, a binding. So, you know, you can make a really thick one or you can do just two signatures in it and embellish the heck out of it. All right. That extra space gives you the room to, uh, to add all those embellishments. But all you got to do is you can cover this in paper, you can paint it, you can color it, you can do whatever you want. Cover the inside and you've got yourself another journal, a cover, right? Yeah, can you tell what we had for dinner last night? Let's see. I'll get to this in a minute. We were at the, uh, at the car repair shop uh, when I was getting my um, my inspection for my car. And in the waiting room, they had these little little uh, catalogs, right? It says 2018 wheel collection. Those enthusiasts who want to, you know, do all kinds of things with their wheels and rims. I really love that rim. Um, things like that, you know. This was sitting there, and there was like a stack of 10 of them. And I asked him, I says, are these free? He says, absolutely. So I said, can I have a couple? He said, yep. So I took two of these, and I took one of another, which I don't remember where I set it offhand. Ah, here it is. Okay. These are great for itty-bitty ones. And if you love cars, you can even leave some of the graphics in here. See, now that is just gorgeous. That right there. Let's see if you can see that. Don't quite know what it is. Looks like it might be metal shavings in an oil pan. Nope, that's when they're um, making wheel rims, I guess. Anyway, but I love the graphic on it. That's really pretty. So some of these graphics are awesome. You can keep them. You can throw them out. You can cut them out. You can cover over them. You can do whatever you want. All right. And this isn't very big at all. This one is, let's 
see, five and a half by four and a quarter. So these are options, you know. You can get these at the Dollar Tree, three of them in a package wrapped in cellophane for a buck. All right. Sorry if my computer or my camera moved. But you see those? And they already have lined paper in them. And you can go through and pull out three or four sheets here and skip some, three or four sheets here, skip some, three or four sheets. And you've got something really small that you can decorate for a first time if you want. All right. That's an option. Okay, then you've got some people, and I have never done this yet, and I'm going to try and do one today, who have uh, gift bags. And they make journals out of gift bags, or they add them into their journal, and they've got pockets and stuff like this. But I really love this cover because it's like embossed with velvet. You know, the, light, the lighter shade is the smooth, and the darker shade is the velvet, if you can see that. That's really pretty. I got like three or four of these at the Dollar or at Goodwill for, I think, two bucks maybe. But they're beautiful. In fact, one of them I use as my, um, oops, as my scrap thing to hold all my scrap pages, my scrap papers in. I have no idea what just fell. Okay, so that's, you know, that's an option. I'll get to these in a minute. And you've got, let's see, you can buy little cute things at the store. This one. Just has a couple of pages in it, but you can add more. You can, you know, do whatever you want to this. But this is a cute little one. See, and it's got a little tie. Oops. There we go. All right. So you've got a little journal that's got a, looks like a tag journal. All right. Let's see what else do we have. Oh, and another thing. <laughs> I did not realize this. Okay, because I bought this for um, I have one style for one daughter, and I bought another one for my second daughter. And then I was going to make one for my son. And what this is, is, uh, come on, down we go. All right. It's a mother, It's it was a book I got. It's got some yucky on it. Let me get something to wipe that off. <sighs> I picked this up at a discount bookstore. All right. Until it's, I've had it for a while. I haven't used it yet. See an alcohol pad? I'll just clean that right up. It's got some adhesive on it from where I pulled the, the price tag off of it. Any other goobers on it, I'll just wipe it right off. But, okay. But what it is, it's a mother's journey, thoughts, feelings, and memories. And you fill this out and they give you, see, I thought that was really pretty, right? And they give you these sections to... To fill out like we all grow better in sunshine and love and a memory I want to preserve and, and then you pass this down to your kids all right things like um, what I wish for my children you know different different little things and then you pass that down to your children okay. what I didn't realize <laughs> when I got this say I've had it for a day or two anyway um, was that when I opened it and I was going to start using it, I started looking through the pages thinking, you know, wanting to get my thoughts together and everything. Well, you can obviously see right here, all right, that the binding and the signature here <laughs> don't quite meet, don't quite match, right? Because I found when I was going through it that it repeated itself, one, Two, three, four, five times. Uh, yeah, I believe 
Was this the one? Anyway, five times. So I went through and I separated them out. And I thought, okay, well, I can keep one as a template and the other one, I've got four children. So good. Now I can, I've got extras that I can, you know, make for my other kids. But when I poured, when I pulled them out like this, now I can put them in their own cover and tailor it to each of my children. So that's an idea. And this was a hardcover, a hardcover book. So even though I wasn't happy, I got gypped out of, you know, what I thought was in it. It kind of worked out for the better anyway. So now I've got pages that are technically already made that I can stamp in and make my own little notes and whatever and tailor them to my individual children instead of giving them all the same, you know, kind of stock book and say, here, this is what I feel. Have fun. So that's another option. You can use a hardcover book. Um, let me think. Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, ooh, I got mail. I got something from Cheryl. Let's see, ooh, there's my friendship package for um, from Elizabeth. Got a notice from my bank. I have no idea what this, oh, I know what this is. This is paper, I'll bet. Okay, and then junk mail. Okay, well, let's take a break really quick because I'm interested in seeing what I got in Happy Mail. Mm, I don't know what that is. Let me get scissors for this one. Yeah, I have not been really happy with the post office lately. Okay, and look at that. You would think with as much money as they charge us anymore that they would treat our mail a little bit better. I, I hear people tell me all the time, your envelope came in all jacked up. It's all ripped. I hope everything is there. You know, and it just, oh, it just makes me so mad. Oh, I got some Halloween paper. Awesome sauce. Halloween is coming up. Awesome. And then some more. These are perfect sizes for um, making pocket letters and things like that. Okay, so that came in. Yippee -yay. Okay, I will open those two in just a minute. I have no idea what's in here. So... You get to watch me open the mail and be just as surprised as me. Not that you guys probably really care, but you know, hey. Oh, my paper from Seven Gypsies came in. Look at that. Awesome sauce. Let's see, there's some ledger paper in the back. And it's double-sided. Oh, let's check out the other side. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, so it's like frou-frou on one side? Oh, okay, not too bad. I was going to say frou-frou on one side. Uh, I'm not super big into frou-frou. But that's some pretty good, that's cool. Seven Gypsies, um, double-sided paper, 8 by 8 pad. Yippee. Okay. So, oh, and I'll get back to that in just a minute. Alrighty. I know what Elizabeth's is, but I don't know what Cheryl's is. wasn't expecting. Oh, bless her heart. She sent me a thank you. Oh, 
Oh, that's sweet. Thank you, Cheryl. That's very, very kind. Very kind. Okay, and Elizabeth. Lizzie Brewer. Okay, if you're watching this video, I love your handwriting. It's beautiful. Okay, I won't show you her address because I don't know, but look how pretty her handwriting is. You see that? Yep, yep, yep. Okay. This is the stuff she sent me for my flocker. Oh, beautiful. Lizzie. Oh, she sent me some washi tape, some foil. Sticker? Sticker foil? Yep. Awesome. Some Punchinello. I love that stuff. I can never find it. Some feathers. Some more. Oh. Look how pretty. Some feathers and doilies. Look at that car. Look at that. And she sewed around it. Look at that. That is beautiful. And some jelly printed book paper. With feathers on it. That's what it looks like. At least the design looks like feathers. Some more jelly plate papers. Oh, I'm going to have fun doing yours, Elizabeth. Look how pretty this is. Oh, she colored it on September 28, 2015. Whoops. Okay. Yeah, I'm still working on getting the positioning for my camera, guys. That's funny because September 28th is my birthday. That's awesome. That's beautiful, Lizzie. That's beautiful. So thank you very much. And look at that beautiful purple ribbon. It's a very deep, like, eggplant. I may use that as iron it because it's got a wrinkle in it and then use it on a bookmark. That's beautiful. Thank you guys. Lizzie, I will do yours um, in the video when I do Eva's as well. Okay, so let me put these all back in the envelope. Very, very nice. Okay. Set those right there. For, oops, I forgot that. Right there for a minute. Okay. And before we go any further, I need to stop and use the restroom. So I will be right back. Okay. I am back. Ouch. Whoops. There we go again. See? Okay. Like I said, I rearranged my shelving units above my desk and added some more up there. And the one shelf I kept my camera on got raised higher than it should have been. So actually went to Goodwill yesterday and found a tripod. For two dollars, two dollars, two dollar, two dollar, and uh, 
so I got that. Now it's an external webcam and the tripod obviously isn't the right one. But for now, in all intents and purposes, until I can whip out the duct tape and the bubble gum and the staple gun and the paper clips and rig something up, that's what we've got. So, to get back to what, um, you know, what you can start a junk journal with, um, you can use, what do you call it, recycled stuff. You know, this was the came in an envelope, you know, to give it some stability through the mail. You can use this. You can cut it, you, or you can fold it, do whatever you want. This is another piece that came in for stability. You can fold it over, make you a small one, or like a Midori, a traveler's notebook. You can even cut it in half and then fold this side so you don't have such a big one. You know, you can do anything you want. This came off the back of a... Of a like a sketchbook, one of those big, huge, you know, 16 by 30 type sizes. I mean, let me see, 12 by 18. Okay, that was this size right here. That came off the back of one of them. Um, you can use that, and it's really good cardboard. You don't have to throw that out. This is a piece of regular cardstock. Check this out. Okay, this is a box, obviously, for cake. Um, that would make a good bi uh, bind, binding? What do you call it? The, whatever. <laughs> the, the, yeah, that. You can cut off one side. Let me see which side would we cut off. Okay, we cut off this side. Let's just do that now since we're here. <clears throat> the reason I say cut off this side, I will show you as soon as I get this open. Okay, is because this is the side where they glued it all together. You see that? Nah, you can't see it that way. Let me see. There you go. Right there. So right there is an extra thickness that might be a little bit difficult to get your, your sewing needle through or however you decide to sew in your signatures or add your signatures to your journal. Um, that might cause a little bit of difficulty. So we cut that part off, but we don't throw this out. Because this can be used for, you know, let's see, we'll cut that off and we'll cut this end off. But this can be used as a bookmark, can be used as a tag. You can cut it in half and use it as little um, ephemera pieces that you can paint, decorate yourself. So I'll keep that. These can be used as, um, let me see, where's the other journal? Of course, it was the first one I used and the first one I misplaced. Oh, come on. Okay, well, we will say for all intents and purposes that this is already a journal, okay? <laughs> So we've already decorated it and it looks exactly the way we want and we made page tabs or something to separate different sections. You know, some people use ribbons, some people use lace, some people use cardboard, paper, whatever, but that's an idea. Or it could trim it down and use it as an inchy. I don't think it's, no, it's not quite two by two, but. You know, you can trim these little pieces down for inches. You never know. But now, I'm going to do the same thing with the top. And obviously, right here, this is not straight. So you would get out your paper cutter or your rulers or, you know, however you use to straighten your edges and make them all match up and everything. But this is just an example of what you can use and you have a cover already made, or already prepared. See? All you gotta do is cover it and add your signatures. 
let's see, let's put these here. So you can recycle as well. Let me put those down here. I have a little box. It's a shoe box, actually, I keep under my desk, and right now it's pretty full. So for the next couple days, I'll be going through and, and making tags and, and, you know, little ephemera pieces with all the graphics I've got building up. And, and then I'll, I'll tuck them in some, uh, you know, some happy mails and some giveaways and things like that. Uh, speaking of which, I, uh, yesterday when I checked, I'm at 900 subscribers. So thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. For your support and for your friendship. And um, when I hit a thousand, I'm going to do another giveaway. I think I did a giveaway at 300, 500, and at 750. And um, oh, yeah, big giveaway. And they've been getting progressively bigger. And the last one I did, I think if I was over. If I got over 30 comments, I did an extra giveaway. I think if it was more than 50 comments, um, it was the third giveaway. So it's going to be something like that as well. So let's put this down here. But I just kind of wanted to bring that up. When I hit that 1,000 mark, oh yeah, I'm going to do a big giveaway. And it's a giveaway, not just of, you know, like painty papers and things like that. I mean, I throw in things like, you know, glue double-sided tape, I throw in stamps, die cuts, um, just all it, whatever I have extra of the time, it goes in a box, and whoever wins it, that's what they get, and it's a special thank you for, um, for your support, so getting back to this, so we've got, you know, recycled stuff, we've got card stock, I'll put that back in that container, all right, Oh, yeah, that's some of my graphics. My fairy wings and my butterfly wings. So we'll put that over here. Oh, yeah, I also put graphics in there, dominoes, you know, whatever I can get my hands on at any given time. It's a big giveaway. And it'll be bigger than any of the others I've had yet. Now, these right here are um, wallpaper pieces. Uh, just... I love that. It's got that shimmery silver stuff on it. You can use, and this was gotten out of a, a thrift store. Did I move again? Yes, I did. Good night. Good night. I think I need to get out the duct tape at this point. All right, let me make that shift just a little bit. And there we go. Maybe, 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 maybe a little bit more. Okay. No. <laughs> Sorry about the wobble day. If you get seasick, <sighs> go take a drum on me. <laughs> I'm not responsible. <laughs> but yeah, so you've got wallpaper, which is, it's got a thicker, uh, stiffer, more sturdy um composition than regular paper does but these were gotten like i said out of a, a a thrift store look at how pretty that one is i love that that would make a beautiful journal cover you know let's see oh yeah not quite long enough but i could probably you know just trim it down trim the book itself down or I can use this cover as much as I can with this and then put lace or something right here. You just, you never know. But I think that's beautiful. Yeah, but I sat down on the floor and went through this whole box paper by paper <laughs> and picked out the ones I liked. Now, I love this. And this is almost feels like uh, vinyl. That's how thick this paper is. Okay, there we go. And it's it's textured. It's really beautiful. And this one's a little bit thinner. But doesn't that look like a great uh, steampunk background? That grunge. 
and this is almost like vinyl also it's 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 really really thick and this is a little bit thinner some more steampunk grungy backgrounds that would make another beautiful well, uh, journal cover let me see you see that damask isn't that pretty you know just little things and even if you don't use them for a cover you know you can use them for the inside in one of your signatures like I really like this one okay and this is just Oh, that was just a plain brown piece of paper, huh? Look at the texture on this one. I've shown this in one of my um, my other videos, I believe. Let's see. But you've got, you know, and here's, uh, what do you call it? Some more um, packaging, recycled packaging. So all of these can be used to get yourself started. And if you like, let me see, we'll just go ahead and use what I've got out. Let's go ahead and get that one that I really liked. This one right here. And then we'll put those aside. We will pull this back up. And let's see. Let's go ahead and measure. So this is ooh, 12 or 11 and 3 quarters. All right. What's half of 11 and 3 quarters? Oh my gosh, 11.75 divided by 2. I so suck at math, you guys. Five point eight seven. <laughs> How do you do that in inches? 5.87. Oh, okay. Well, well, we can always just do it the hard way. Well, let's try and square this off first. I think that might be a better suggestion. Okay, let me go get my paper cutter because it's in the living room right now with my dad. I'll be right back. Okay, I are back. Now, I don't know if you know this. A lot of people do. Most people don't. Um, paper is the one thing that can dull your scissors faster than anything. Your razor blades, whatever. This was a brand new piece or a brand new blade I put in yesterday and, um, for paper, right? But when it gets dull, it's still sharp enough to cut cardboard. So instead of just throwing it out, I mark a little, I take a little marker on it, put cardboard on it. Let's see, right there. So when I'm cutting something really thick or something thicker than, you know, paper, mostly cardboard, uh, I'll pull that out so I'm not ruining, um, you know, a brand new blade. Okay, so I know that edge is straight right there. Okay, the other edges aren't. This is how I'm squaring it out. Now, this is too long, obviously, but I'm going to use it and cut what I can as far as I can. You see how wobbly that was? It wasn't quite straight. And then I will flip it over, actually. And I will line it up with the wire. Not yet, because this is the only straight corner I have. 
Well, I need it. Dang it. Okay, let's do it this way. Yep, sometimes it's difficult. We got to get out a ruler. Sometimes it just is what it is. I probably could have grabbed out my the guillotine, but I didn't feel like trying to organize it around my camera. <laughs> there we go. My scissors. Where did my scissors go? Okay, so I have, now I've got a right corner, a right angle, 90 degrees. That's what we need to start it out with. Then, I'm going to flip it over. And, oh yeah, that's really lopsided. So now I have three corners that are, well, three sides that are straight. I'm going to use this side as measurements to straighten this side out. So, put this side for just a minute. Where'd my paper go? There she blows. And this is going to shorten a little bit. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I cut this at four and three quarters on this side. four and three quarters on this side. Then we shall see. Yes, I'm winging it. I'm guesstimating. Okay. And actually what this will do is this also gives me a straight edge on the final There we go. But I still have to straighten this out. This doesn't want to be straight. Huh. I hope it does not. But that's okay. I will fix that right now. Here we go. And we're even all the way across, all the way down. Uh, yeah, for the most part. <laughs> so we're even on this side. We're semi-even on this side. But that's okay. So it was four and three quarters. Uh-oh, that one got cut a little bit shorter than four and three quarters. And so did that one. Huh, I wonder how that happened. That one didn't. Alrighty, well, I measured wrong. Measure twice, cut once. Isn't that what they say? Measure twice, cut once. What the heck is wrong with me? And 
cut off an eighth of an inch. There. Now we got it. Now, after all of that, let's see if it's still big enough or small enough that we don't have to cut the paper. If we do, we do. If we don't, we don't. I mean, we'll still have to top to bottom, but... And look at that. Perfect! See? Perfect! So... We have a little bit left over instead of trimming it all off. What we will do is we will just fold it over and glue it in. All right, but we'll do that after we get it glued. And I'm going to use tacky glue, not Mod Podge or anything like that because this is a lot stronger. But this is just, like I said, I didn't have to buy, well, I bought the cake mix, but I mean, I didn't have to buy anything specific for, to make a journal cover. You know, I didn't have to worry about whether I was at, using Tim Holtz or Dina Reevely's or Dina Wakely's and Dilusions, uh, Graphic 45, nothing. This, <laughs> I believe, is Aldi's um, brand Devil's Food Cake Mix. Hey, what can I say? I go big when I go shopping, right? <laughs> Whoops. Uh, well, let's just let's just do it this way. I was going to use a, pen, a paintbrush, but I just want to make sure that it's all. The only thing I'm not real happy, even though it's a good glue, is that this Eileen's Tacky is um, if you don't spread it out or smooth it with like a, a what do you call it a, a credit card or you know one of those hard gift card type things, it leaves your paper lumpy. Ah, oh, come on. It's so thick. And you can't just, you know, like squirt it in a big pile and then spread it out because it won't spread that way for some reason. It just doesn't, it doesn't work that way, I guess. Right, it's a good glue. It's just to me, it's hard to hard to work with. Some people say, "Well, just add water." Well, yeah, I could do that, but then if I'm going to do that, I might as well just use Mod Podge. <laughs> okay, so this I just want to make sure there's no, you know, lines of glue because that's what. Let's just set it down. And then we can arrange it. Let me get this extra glue up real quick. I'm almost out of baby wipes. I bought one of those like 300 packs of family, family choice or that Walmart grandparents choice at Walmart and it's lasted me almost a year. Okay. Ah, fooey. Kind of not. Ah, that's okay. No, it's not okay because the outside is... I need it to be kind of straight. 
because if not, when I cut it, the outside will kind of be leaned, you know, because it's an up and down pattern. Well, I hope that's good enough. We're going to cut here, cut here. Obviously, I didn't put this on even, but that's okay. The inside will be covered anyway. Alrighty. So, let's turn the glue back upside down for a minute. You don't have to have an engineering degree to do this. Although, when you watch me, you think it probably ought to be a good idea to try. <laughs> At least have, you know, a college education. Ugh. But, yeah, so that's the front of the journal. Now, if you wanted, you could have left it plain, put your signatures in first, and then put the whole cover over it to cover the sewing in of the signatures, if you wanted to. Um... holding this in so it doesn't dry too stiff. There we go. See? And then folding these papers over so they'll fold over better and glue better. All right. Let's get the glue. I love this. I love this paper. I really do. <clears throat> and see, I'm folding this before it dries so that the paper, it has, it has a memory, right? And it will remember where the fold is so that when it dries, it won't dry so stiff that I won't be able to fold it, you know, the way it's supposed to go. Alrighty. And sometimes I don't have a problem doing this to give it a little bit of extra stability as it sets or dries. So I will clip it. Oh, let me move that. There we go. a whole little drawer here full of paper clips that I embellished and binder clips that I used to for this purpose and you know things like that some people that's a paper clip isn't that beautiful I got that in a happy mail isn't that gorgeous that's a paper clip Let's see you know things like that 
that. Those are all paper clips. And then these are ones I made from my clay molds. This one was from silicone, the acrylic. This one was from, yeah, this one was from Sculpey. This one was from acrylic. Made some little ones too. Here's one I can use. Right there. Okay. So get these out of the way. Okay. Now while that side is setting, we will go to this side. Actually, before I glue that, let me pull out some more clips. Way, get them out of the way. Alrighty, and here we go. So this is just a quick, like I said, a quick example to show you how easy it is to get started on making your own junk journal. And you're thinking, oh, yeah, well, it's just a cover. That's simple. That's simple. Yeah, you know what? Let me tell you something. I always found the cover to be the most difficult. Only because it's supposed to be, you know, oh, my gosh, this is what everybody's going to see when they look at it. It's got to be the best. It's got to be this. It's got yada, yada, yada. There. Okay, so we'll give that just a second. This one's already done. It doesn't take long, just just a minute, just to keep it down till the glue grabs hold. And then right here. I didn't even have to do that with the big side, just the little side. I think it's because the paper's so stiff. Well, not so stiff, but it's stiffer that it needed help staying folded over while it it grabbed hold. I'll go ahead and just throw that on there for poops and giggles. And this will be covered up anyway. You know, the inside will be have a different uh, cover on it. I will just put you right there. Mm, that works. See, I just have random little clips. And on this paper, let's see, that some of that paper that I had, where is it? This one, yeah, this shiny one would look really pretty on the inside of this. So let's measure and see how big a piece we'll need. Like I said, just long enough to help the glue set. That's about 11 inches. We'll just go, it's a little bit shy of 11 inches. We'll do, let me see. Yeah, it's a little shy of 11 inches. So what we'll do, since I want some of this showing, we'll do 10 and a quarter. Okay. So let me write it down. 
about 10 and a quarter inches long by inch in and a quarter inch in and then we'll do that so six inches okay so ten and a quarter by six that's what we'll cut get my big one out. That's my smaller one. Ugh. Oh, come on. I do need to change the blades back. Put that one back on there. Since I'm changing this, Mom, I will put my cardboard blade here. See, that one got too dull for paper, and it would leave the little um, pills on the edge. So that's why I pulled it off and started or using a new one. And then I used this one for the, the rougher paper. Okay, so we said six inches by ten and a quarter, right? So how wide is this? Well, that's not quite wide enough. So let's measure out. Whoops. That was loud. Okay, ten and a quarter. This is right there. I'm going to set this one back over here. And this, yeah, it's a ten and a quarter by six. Set that down. Now, see, this matches fairly well with this. And look how good that looks. Let's see that. That looks fabulous. So let's see what we can get. See what we see. grab a <sighs> there are no JC Penney's gift card I had and we will lay this down. I didn't spread this one out with my finger. So, if I don't do use a credit card, it's going to lump up and be all bumpy when it dries, and I don't want that. 
wow, this has almost got like a gold foil on it. It wants to come off when I'm pressing. That's kind of cool. When I'm scraping it with the card. There we go. See, good thing I did that before it dried. Mm. Now you could have cut out individual pieces and done each panel, but why? You know, a lot of this is going to be hidden. Anyway, there we go. And there you have it. You've got your journal cover, front to start, from recycled material. You can decorate it further than this, but this is just a quick idea or a quick way just to show you how easy it is to get started on a junk journal. All right. On that note, I'm going to go ahead and go. I will do a part two and work on signatures just to show you how easy that is as well. All right. There are a lot of videos out there. This is not my idea. I have not come up with any of this. All right. The only creative licensing I have is which papers I choose, which colors to throw together, you know, that type of thing. Um, like I said, everybody's idea of what makes art beautiful is as unique to each individual as it is your fingerprints. Um, so I hope this helps. I hope this helps you get over that hump that I had. It took me forever to get over that hump. But, you know, to get over the hump, to actually jump right in and get started. Okay? If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Okay? If you haven't subscribed, do so already. It'll really help me out. Um, and on that note, I will let you go and hope everybody is having a blessed day. And have a great week. Okay, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.